he um he he's typing in and he comes over comes and he goes all right i um i think i've gotten a uh, at least a rough schematic it looks corrupted but i think the corrupted part is the sh part of the ship that's not actually attached anymore so i don't think we'll need that very much but uh i think i can navigate us there looks like there's some well looking on the mass schematic there appears to be some sort of damage or blockage in a couple of paths we may end up having to well navigate in a strange way to get to there well whatever it is let's map it out quick there does seem to be something to salvage though so that's good news yes indeed all right um so from here i suggest we go that way and when he says that way he actually like points up and you can see, like, he wants yeah. to, like, kind of, like, launch across the this, like, open... It's kind of like a, um... It's kind of like a, uh, like a courtyard area, almost. Uh, outside of these, like, couple of residential habitats, you're kind of in, like, a bigger open area. Um, and so he, he, again, he, like, attaches to, like, a secure part of the, um... Uh, secure part of, like, the railing next to you. Um, and then he, he kind of, like, launches himself and... You know, the wire, bzzz, like, spins out, and he gets to the other side and, you know, does the same thing, grabs onto you and wheels you over there, and he attaches it, and he puts a glow bug there, and um, he probably says, hopefully we'll be able to come back this way, but if not, at least I have, well, worst case, we could always walk along the outside of the ship, right? Haha. <laughs> you can't see her blank stare? But there's blank stare <laughs> at Chan. Yeah, yeah, and I think I think, I think it just kind of like when you when you just don't silence. you don't like laugh. He goes, "Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that that might have been a joke, like like you said earlier." Yeah, I just I I never heard you make a joke before, Chan. Like she's dumbfounded as the blank stare. <laughs> oh. Well, that's normally because I don't understand a lot of things. It appears that I also don't understand jokes. No, 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 that was that was a good one. It was just kind of morbid in the circumstances. Don't worry, you, you'll you get better, Adam. And she, like, kind of goes to, like, tap him on the shoulder, like a punch on the shoulder, but it's so much effort to, like, lift her arm to, like, swing it out to do it. She just kind of half-heartedly puts her arm back down <laughs> yeah and he just like continues walking into the darkness uh go go has a sad face on <laughs> yeah so you begin uh continue your navigation towards the uh the drive core uh and then the nanites attack you so the rest of you three of you on the planet um <laughs> I'm Wait, just... can the nanites that are inside of us retaliate against the nanites? <laughs> Again, no. you're not gonna die per se. Already dead. Well, you're not yet. You've you've been continuing to eat food. It's fine. For now. <laughs> Wait, maybe if I do die, it'll actually perpetuate the transformation, and I will become full whatever it is. <laughs> mm, that sounds bad. Sure does. You may not have a choice in whether happen. we find that out. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's true. This is, this is not in your hands entirely. Well, I'm not saying I have any control over it. I'm just saying it sounds bad. Oh, no, I, I meant Meg may not have any <laughs> oh, control yeah. over whether we find that out. Yeah. Uh, oh. Again, Matt's, Matt's been just messaging, messaging me all these ideas for what can be on the ship. I can prove that I haven't been, Meg. In Somehow this, like, if gonna this I believe that you, Matt. That you uh, <laughs> he could also delete all those messages he sent me and then send you a screenshot of that and say that he didn't do it. <laughs> uh, doesn't it show that there's a deleted message? Uh, it does no. not. We'll carry on. So then. what's happening? What uh, so... I think we're blowing, I'm blowing a gate up, I think. That's what we decided. Uh, yeah, I didn't read any of this. Uh, what is what is the plan that you guys think so, you have? On on the ground, yeah. what's been discussed is uh, uh, Oscar, you know, for, Fortune and Oscar gone back and forth about whether or not he should stay and provide, like, supporting cover, like, 
like Should sniper sniper cover. If I stay, there will be trouble. Yeah. If I go, there will be double. Well, that settles it. You stay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, they they've been talking about that, and Oscar suggests, uh, well. I could probably draw the intention of the security system if we create an explosion by that encampment, make it look like a accident handling munitions on the barbicide, but if the gate is damaged, probably the you know security bots will respond with the same. <laughs> aggression they had previously. We can only hope. And if not, we come up with another plan. <laughs> yep. He's, you know, he's, after he says that, he's kind of looking to Fisher, he's looking at Fortune, like, do we do, we do this? How do... Yep. How do we intend... <sighs> When I do this, how do we enter? Fisher, you and I have to be very clear on how we're getting in. Because it will be a limited window. Yeah. I mean... I don't know how effective uh, standard distractions would be against a computer which does complicate things. It's as much to distract Barba as it is to try and divide the security forces. So like... If, Bar if Barba sees us go in, we are in a world of trouble. Yeah, we're definitely we not are. getting out. Yeah, I should also be clear too, just because I, I want to be as clear as possible. Um, there are definitely areas of the fence line that Barbara is not watching. Like, it probably wouldn't be too hard to get onto the grounds. Um, because they're only really watching the gates. Okay. Specifically. So, you're saying it's a Trump pool. Uh, sure. It's, it exists in <laughs> theory only in <laughs> most of, most of the boundary. It's a purely hypothetical. Yeah, Lots so of like, people are upset about it, but it's not actually there. And, and Barbara paid for it. <laughs> We're going to pay for it. Holy yeah. shit. Uh, yeah. So let's, let's not go down that rabbit hole any, <laughs> any further. Uh, okay, so that's uh, where... Is there a entry point where Fisher and I could kind of scoot in? Then there are a lot. They're watching. Uh, not any like official entry points, though. Does that make sense? Yeah, but there are. Yeah, like, you could easily... places where Fisher could physically cross whatever minimal barrier there is. Yeah, the fence itself just appears to be like a normal decorative fence. Oh, it's just tall and big. But got it. Like Fisher might even be able to like squeeze through the like the gaps in it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so if uh, retconning that slightly with new information, yeah, this new information um, says Fisher, if we just make a break for it, we'll probably meet resistance. But I guess we'll reassess once we're in. This isn't my best plan. I need you to sign off on it. <laughs> I don't think anything <laughs> in this situation has gone to plan, and I don't think anything will go to plan. It so yes, go worse, I am on though. board with this. <laughs> so, so uh, just to be clear, I, at the moment you have me outside doing cover. Or am I going in with you? That is entirely up to you. I, either way, I think it could be useful, and I cannot 
foresee what will happen once we're in there. Yeah. My initial concern uh, was that we're going to get in, Phil and I are going to be like caught staring at six robots with lasers. One of us is going to go down, then both of us are going to go down, and you're going to watch it all from like a really neat vantage point. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, then, it, and then just like pretend that you were a member of the Barba Society all along and forget about this whole misadventure <laughs> move on with your life I, and I it's like lot, fuck it fortune goes and does his own thing go go does <laughs> her own thing we rot in a building it's literally gonna be the staircase it, um, yeah. yeah it's gonna be the, the staircase the, from, the uh, so foyer so. Yeah, it's gonna be the foyer. Yep, yeah. it's gonna be the entryway, like the grand, the grand entryway with like the white marble staircase that goes up the side, and then just like just pools with, of blood. With uh, Fisher and I moldering away, and yeah. uh, anyway, so it's yeah, I'll, it's I'll totally up to you because it could completely go either direction. So I, I, you know, you play your character. What what does Fortune actually think about what is proposed? Because yeah. Oscar and Fisher have a plan. Fortune is having as much trouble as I am with this because there's yeah. some huge benefits to doing both. Yeah. So Fortune, one thing you when do... I say plan, I mean we've decided on a course of action. Uh, plan might be a strong word. Yes. Fortune, definitely. If if they get inside the building, you're going to be of very little use to them. Uh, that obviously is a is. A... Um. Also, yeah. reasonably, well, if they get in. Right, yeah, right. Until they're ready to come out, if Barba's even watching at that point, right? Well, and and the bigger thing is, I don't know how they're going to shut down the security system, and if Barba somehow is alerted that the security system is down, then right. I'd be a huge. I think the outside. I think smart money is on distraction. Three of us get in without Barba noticing. Yeah. Deal with because they're externally they're assuming like they've clearly been here a while they're not just going to march in if we can get past them we're not going to have to deal with them and hopefully we can you know the three of us can shut it down without them even realizing and then scoot yeah all right yeah i'm going in okay so otherwise it's going to be that that episode with uh Steven never getting to take the shot and just being like, nah, man, there's an awning. You can't see, <laughs> you can't see that. Yeah. Yep. Jesus. Uh, there's also bulletproof windows and you can't shoot yeah. through them. Damn yeah, it. also fuck your character, Steven. That's, that's what this is. <laughs> I don't want snipers in my game. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so we're doing, yeah, we're, we're doing the thing. Going. We're doing the thing. Yeah, yeah. hindsight is twenty twenty, Megan. <laughs> that whole relationship seems... Yep. Anywho. <laughs> hindsight is 20 fucking 20. Holy okay, so... That's what we'll be saying after we're dead here. Yeah. So, the three of you are going to find a secluded area where you could slip through the fence line and make a break for the house. Correct. Well, Trying to yeah. keep off the grass as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and Oscar, Oscar is gonna. I mean, Explodey. from the from where we are currently, can I see anything that looks conspicuously like a weapons cache or something like that? That's uh, like in, at the house. Yeah. No, no, no. In the the blockade. Oh no! Like the squad tents? No, they yeah. probably just have their small arms. Okay. Well, fuck. Yeah. Again, I, 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 I sh to just to be clear, like these I'm... people are not like I know. I know maybe you guys don't want to kill them, obviously, but like I'm emphasizing the fact that like there's like a squad of mooks here. Like, okay, then we sneak in. Yeah, like, like if it's, there's it's... no benefit to that, then we just enter on the other side well, and my only try to avoid a patrol. One. We were trying to just maybe possibly sort of kind of distract the security system. And two, at least not have Barba f watch us run yeah. into the building. Once, right. If the security does okay. pop up, well, once we're on the lawn, we're going to have to shoot things. 
right. and guns will draw attention. Well, yep. you could always use like nighttime to your advantage. Right? Become Computers become right, but security will probably still right. The yeah. security system, sure, but uh, but also Barba will obviously be at a weaker, like less advantage. Yeah. Sure. Right? Well, what, what time of day is it, really? Because we've probably the three of us have probably been sitting in some building, it's, like yammering it's, about this for like four hours. Probably like late <laughs> evening, to be fair. Like yeah. you could wait so, a couple so more so hours. So we can easily hours. delay yeah. a bit, whether or not we even intend to. It's like growing dark as we're talking about how we are going to get yeah. into this place. I'm good with that. Sure. And, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because Bar Barbara just humans like can't. Someone see. will have to sleep eventually. Those are those are fighting words to Barba. <laughs> Actually, no, that would probably be a very large compliment. They're just humans. Okay, so anyway. we're waiting until dark, and yep. then heading for the plan, sneak into our coffins, goes into action. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a great plan name. Um, so I described a couple of locations on the grounds. There's the garden. There's the greenhouse area. There's obviously a couple of garages. There's uh the weird racket racket tennis ball court thing. Um, there's you know like the couple. There's a couple of paths that like lead through the garden areas, and um, there's a couple of uh like there's a couple of dry like, like there's probably like a one of those like big horseshoe driveways. That like leads up to the front and then like turns back around. Uh, obviously, the biggest gate is the the vehicle gate. Um, there's a couple of other smaller gates. The one that you're at, which leads kind of towards the greenhouse area. There's one over that leads in towards the garden area, um, and there's another one that leads uh, probably like up to the main house, like a main house walkway area. Uh, and those all have like a single squad of Barba on them. Um, and so. Uh, I think that as night falls, if if you're doing any recon on this track it ball, there you go, track it ball. Um, mm -hmm. If you're doing any recon on this, you see that once night falls in earnest, um, the Barba guards, indeed, uh, there looks like there is one guard on duty at any given time. It's like basically a fire watch, uh, just to make mm -hmm. sure like nothing crazy is going on. So out of like the seven to ten, or I should say like thirty to forty people total that surround this compound. There's, like, four of them awake. Um, the others are either, like, eating chow or sleeping or whatever. And it they eventually, you would know this, too, just because typical tactics, right? They would eventually, like, switch, like, maybe halfway through the night. Or maybe, you know, every couple of hours somebody wakes up for a couple hours, et cetera, et cetera. It's basically like a, like a watch in an, in an RPG, right? Like in a tabletop RPG. Um, mm -hmm. But not all of them are awake or ready or anything like that. Um, so uh i should have bought a silencer sorry <laughs> or a, fla a fla flash hider would probably be uh what well, you was... want in this scenario but well, yes could do laser pistols make a lot of noise lasers in general don't make a lot of noise i got a laser pistol all right the, get... the noisy part is whatever they hit because mm -hmm. it screams right correct well, yeah, or it's... or like the smell of or the the sound of sizzling flesh. Yeah, that's okay. the that's the loud part. Uh, it's not like I mean I I in I don't envision it as bad as Star Wars where it's like, pew, pew, right? Like that's not. Yeah, that, that not seems the, a bit nuts. Yeah, there's probably like a very small power up sound like. Whoop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's one hundred percent true. Um, okay, so it's night. So it's nighttime. Okay. We've we've picked. So yeah, uh, I, I want to know where your entry point is, or what your des like, what your first destination is. Is it going to be what location of that I've described to you? Um, is is what you think your your destination will be? I have a pretty good feeling about the garden. I I was thinking the greenhouse door thing. Well, that's that's what I meant. That, okay. Yeah, yeah, like where you saw where you saw the weird. Uh, possum thing. Yeah. Correct. Maybe yeah, we yeah, can yeah. appeal to his sense of decency and Tell I'm assuming well, he's I'm assuming he's like a hyper intelligent telepath or something. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That um, is actually one of the children. So yeah, we're doing we're going um 
unless Will voices concerns beyond what Fisher has already complained about with this whole catastrophe. Uh, I think we're I, mean, <laughs> I think we're gonna go to the garden, the, the greenhouse rather. Okay. I mean, I still say try to keep off the grass as much as possible. <laughs> I don't disagree with that. Do you, do you like pull out the this the uh, uh, doctor's office like shoe booties and like put them on your shoes so you're not <laughs> leaving tracks? What do you think all this luggage was for? Yeah. I have a shoes for every occasion. Do you like offer shoe booties to the other two? Because that would be amazing. of course. <laughs> you you get a very sideways glance from Fortune. Uh... Oscar, you put them over the power armored boots that you're currently wearing? No. <laughs> but why? Because that would be amazing. I doubt they're big enough. Uh, you've got like four like strapped together. Oh. Like <laughs> he pulls out the medical tape. It's like when point. it's like when you see yeah. somebody working in food in food services, right? And they have like a beard or like really long hair. They have like five like all strapped around different angles of their face to stop all the hair from falling in food. Um, so the group of you, you kind of like, you, you wait and you see that the, in fact, I'll be honest with you, uh, that Barba guy, he probably like is like dozing off a little bit. The one who's on guard, like closest to you. And again, he's like some distance away as well. Like you're not, you're not directly in the line of sight. We're not running him. right past him. Yeah. Uh, okay, you don't make faces at him as you run by. Um, so you get up to the, the fence line, uh, and you can see that there is definitely like, um, there's definitely like an area where you can like maybe like pull back some of the fence and like kind of just get in there. Um, yeah, I I just like poof. break part of it off for us to step through. Okay, yeah. So you just like or or for fortune and Fisher's benefit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like yank one of the planks off or something and then set it down. Yeah, absolutely. So you and I slip, slip right in. Gross. Oh, I thought you meant like you uh, yeah. I thought you like slipped the and then fell and then like <laughs> I had to roll another d4 for damage like or something. Three three yeah. stooges, just. <laughs> <God. sighs> nope. So, the uh, the three of you kind of you know you you sidle in through the through the the hole in the fence you've made, and you begin like doing the sneak running right where you're like crouched down but like kind of walking you know trotting kind of fast. <laughs> Yeah, do we have straight out behind us? Yes. Yes, always. Um, but I I do need each of you to make me a roll. Yeah. And what is that? I would like it to be an athletics roll. Oh hey. With strength. Athletics with strength. Can I argue? My power armor gives me something. Specifically, does not. <laughs> In beauty. Whoa! Holy shit! shit. Doctor Phil. Guys. Holy shit! Doctor Phil at the eleven. Uh, holy. F Guys, this is gonna be bad. I'm telling you. Hey, it's double one. Oh, oh shit! Not double one. It is not as bad as it could have been. Not as bad as it could have been. Four and a three with a penalty. Uh, so, Fortune, and Doctor Fisher, uh, you guys are a bit lighter than Oscar is. Yes. <laughs> so as you're kind of like you know narts are running around right on the to... booties <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> i will rue this day so you guys are like walking across like you're, you're running and you know you're running across and and you get to like the path like the the, the concrete it. path that leads up um and oscar you like you go to you step and it feels kind of like squishy it was like marshy and then your leg gets stuck you like you're trying to yank it out and you can't and you get stuck for a moment and you look down because the rest of you were like so worried about running you didn't even notice but you look down um and you can see that these metal tendrils kind of similar to what the legs of those creatures are made out of have kind of like started latching themselves onto your power armor and they're like uh, coming up out of the grass what do you do um in unless unless these are some crazy psychic suppressing 
TL5 tendrils, he teleports out of the grasp. Yeah. And as soon as you do, you hear that kind of like, like that breaking yeah. sound, the scraping sound of metal on metal um, as they like lose their grip. Uh, and you just like poof onto the grass and you can see like as the as the two of you like look over there at oscar like like trying to pull his leg up like what the hell's going on here um yeah so he, he like pauses a second and he yanks on it like instinctively and they just right. fuck it just yeah. teleports, teleports you yep. know 10 10 um, meters in front and then the uh the the three of you can see the grass is kind of wriggling and as you have gotten off of it it kind of settles down and kind of like you can see like Almost, it, it almost looks like the grass kind of, like, shortens or sinks in length. Uh, now that you're on, like, the concrete padding. Outside. Fisher, do you have, like do you have any more of those booties? <laughs> I, I say, I told you we should have stayed off the grass. <laughs> <laughs> this, I, eyes on the prize. Let's go. Yeah, so you guys, you guys head up the path to the door. Um, so you get to you're you're standing outside the greenhouse door now. What do you do? Open the door. Um, Is that a, like yeah? Are there any wood like, windows? So, so it's kind of that weird like greenhouse style. Uh, like it's opaque glass almost, right? Like it's we like you can kind of see in. You can you can kind of see like like shadows, but it's also dark, right? It's like pitch black, so it's really yeah. really like it's very very hard. There's no light on the inside. Um, which actually, that's another thing I should mention, uh, that I didn't, but inside the house itself, there are, the lights are fully on inside of the house. Like, you can see through the windows and stuff that, like, lights are shining out. You don't see any, like, movement or shadows or anything like that. Um, but it's kind of weird because a lot of the rest of the city is kind of, the power's kind of been knocked out with all of, you know, like, war zone shelling and stuff. Uh, but this house... And in fact, it probably makes you think that it has its own source of power, uh, just as compared to everything else in the area. Um, but yeah, the greenhouse doors, the greenhouse is like kind of attached to uh, what looks like maybe like a, a workshop area uh, that's part of the house and then, you know, then into the main house itself. Um, okay, I would like to open the door, please. Yeah. Uh, so why don't you roll me a physical effect save? Yeah, I knew it was coming. <laughs> okay hey. um so have you ever uh like have you ever accidentally gotten like an electrical shock from something yes yeah as soon as you put your hand on the door to open it up you get that like numbness real quick and like your hand kind of jerks back you don't it doesn't like paralyze you or anything but yeah it's almost like somebody has like electro wires touched to the metal door handle um uh, probably okay and and when you do that um you hear a uh what sounds like a shutter like sh behind the door like you hear it like kind of come down from the top and like slam into the floor and you kind of feel it vibrate a little bit <laughs> uh does does your suit conduct electricity oscar he can i can i like just open the door with like, i don't want to blow it open but i can remotely manipulate things right yeah absolutely you could yeah, like turn so, the door handle with your remote manipulation absolutely yeah yeah he so phil phil is probably surprised because i only ever seem to open things by exploding them but he, <laughs> he yeah oscar tries to just you know, open it with, uh, telekinetically with a little bit more finesse than usual. Yeah, yeah. So you just like you know you, the door handle like kind of jiggles, and then it slowly begins to turn, and you can feel the you know you feel the the door handle turn. You open it, and it kind of swings outwards, and you can see that there is a plasteel shutter directly behind the door that has kind of slammed into place. Hmm. Um, you appear to be at an impasse. Yeah, so after you stand there for a moment, uh, the metal in the middle of that shutter begins to kind of like mold and wiggle and melt, almost like liquid. And you see um, a feminine face begin to be formed. And the eyes are closed, and when it opens up its eyes, 
it's just metal as well. So it has this weird effect of like looking into like not having actual eyes when it opens. Mm-hmm. Um, and its mouth is kind of closed in a in a firm line, uh, and you can't um, you can't fully. It doesn't open its mouth to speak or anything like that. Um, but it does say to you. It says, "Greetings, I am Sasha. Please state your business." Uh, I probably... Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, greetings, Sasha. Uh, we were just, uh, initiating, uh, Protocol 2336 on, uh, the situation of the household. And I was wondering if you could give us access, uh, into the, uh, interior of the estate. Yeah, for a moment it looks at you and it says, Your heart rate has increased. You are lying. Please state your business. <laughs> Sasha, we're contracted by the Forton family to rescue uh, Amelia, Havarti, and a family pet, Neko. We're from Westwind. Here's my badge. Yeah, and again, she, the, the thing like turns and looks at you and it says, You are not lying. I have not received word of this. Stand by. And like, the face just kind of like sits there passively for a moment, uh, for a long moment, like thirty seconds pass, a minute passes. What do you guys do? I crouch and wait. Is there a control panel anywhere nearby? Not that you can see. How much time passes? Minute and a half now. So we're we're just like hunkered down in front of this thing, hoping yeah. that it. Yeah, I'm I, trying to act like a shadow. Pretty much is all I'm doing right now. Yeah. Uh. Oscar waits patiently. Okay. He's he's like scanning the area in case this plan is no longer viable, but he's waiting for now. You know, should should conditions change. <laughs> Is ready to uh yeah um enter. so suddenly it, it kind of sparks to life again and, and sasha says i apologize i had to contact the master of this estate as well it appears the occupants of the city have attempted to breach the inner perimeter they've been dealt with as well it appears that there was some sort of missile strike aimed at this place i have dealt with that as well now I am waiting to receive word from my master. Please stand by a moment longer. And just like kind of passively goes back again. Uh... There was so I probably look over at Oscar. Like, she said there was a missile. Is that are they shooting missiles at it right now? Is she is she stopping the what? This. This could bode well for our extraction. Y- yes. However, we are not inside yet. <laughs> also a concern if they're shooting missiles at a house that we're outside of. Yeah. Uh, Sasha. And like, she comes back to you and says, Yes. Um... If my understanding is correct, then your uh, purpose is to protect the uh, Fortan estate and your master's health and well-being. Is that the case? That is my primary function, yes. I also have taken an inventory of your bag. Are you a doctor? I am indeed a licensed physician. Yes, Yes, I do practice medicine. (laughs) Strange. I cannot tell if you are lying. (laughs) (laughs) Our, Sasha, our task here was to ensure the safety of the masters of the estate and uh, help extract them uh, should the need be in this uh, dangerous occupation that is currently 
undergoing the city to help ensure the safety of uh, the masters. Could it be feasible to let us gain entry into the estate and speak with them, your masters, directly? I actually now have an authorization code coming from what I believe to be your ship. The individual on board of it is not as willing as I would have hoped to allow me to receive this message. Also, I have the need of a doctor inside of the house. You all may enter. And like the shutter, the shutter actually like kind of melts away and kind of dissolves in the mist and the door opens uh, and allows the, the group of you to walk inside. Yeah. After I assume a look at each other. <laughs> yeah. Oscar just marches in. Yeah, um, I probably just yeah, jump right Yeah, in. so we see you march in and we see like the door shut behind you and then go go. Oha comes over the comms. And you're about halfway to where you need to be at this point. And she says, "Um, go go. <laughs> we have a problem." Crap, what is it? I don't think we're in a place where we can get out very fast. Is something going to hit us? The ship is powering up. I didn't do anything. Wait. What? <laughs> yeah. It's going through, like, three flight checks, I think. Shit, 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 shit. Um... Is it putting in coordinates? Do we have? Is it something? Not, not yet. But it's trying to fire up the engines. I, whatever this is, it's I have no control. It looks like it's having some problems, though. Chan, are you there? Uh, yes. What? What is it? Did you reroute any power communications in the engineering bay recently? Uh. Yeah, to maybe stop some fires or put more power to the, the one engine. I, I know that Gogo doesn't like flying without power. The engines. Okay, well, you guys might have just a few minutes to get back. It looks like it's trying to reroute power. Gogo's somehow. already walking, by the way. I don't know if it... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like... Already, like... I've already grabbed Chan at this point and just like started marching freaking back. Just, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so you're you're pretty good ways away at this point. Uh, so what I want you to I want yeah, you to make so me I think a. As I'm doing this though, I I would grab his uh, Chan's little schematic and his little yeah. like you know map that he's been yep. making and try to make a quick assessment of like I, can we bust through a panel and jump up one and well, try to. I think that you need to make a navigation roll if you don't mind. Uh, this one's gonna be based on wisdom though, because like. In the moment, you need to find the escape route right now. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday. Like, before. No. All right. Wisdom. Can I say, because <laughs> I have a map, that that would be advantage? The, the map <laughs> here is the only thing allowing you to make the check in the first place. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> So no. Can I say the fact that I have a Chan with me is good at everything <laughs> would give me an advantage? Can we just Chan this? <laughs> Can I just pull my Chan card and... You have a reroll this hour, right? You'll be fine. It's navigation. You have like a three in it yeah. or something stupid. Hang yeah, on. I'm just trying navigation. to see better. <laughs> a ten's pretty Yay, good. Yeah, I get a ten. A ten's pretty good. You want to keep a ten? Yes, because <laughs> the way I've been rolling, it's about the best I'm going to get today. So, okay. All right. So uh, you find a new route that's going to cut off definitely some time. Um, and you begin, like, spacewalking as fast as you can uh, over to that area. Um, do me a favor. Uh, can you also roll me a Lexi? No, I cannot. <laughs> Damn it. Just normal. Yeah, yeah, just a normal. Fuck! Every time! Yeah. I've never passed one ever. So, uh, you navigate and you, you end up like 
ripping off some panels and like you're, you're like like probably at some point chance like i have to secure us so we don't fly away and you're like nope and you just like throw him in a direction <laughs> and then like kick off yourself and like grab onto something crazy and like kind of tear around i'm parkouring um, in space is what's happening correct yeah, yeah yeah uh and you get around to the uh you end up having to like go outside and come back around into like the broken part of the area and as you do um you see the ship kind of like starting to like power like the the engines are sparking to life um and the ship has been it's it's like just as it's disconnecting uh and starting to float a little bit what do you do i <laughs> Um, I take Chan in front of me and shove him as far f so I like brace myself against part of the yeah. the whatever crap is behind me. And I just push slash kick him in front of me towards it as hard as I can in the hopes that he will make it there and be able to like throw something to lasso me back. <laughs> because both of us just walking there won't do it. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you just kicked Chan out into space. I literally round house kicked Chan into space, and hope for the best. Yeah, let's uh, let's see how well that works out for Chan. This this thing that you care for so much. Yeah, this is the only way that we're gonna live. So. <laughs> oh, it's so close. So Chan. Uh, you're off, your trajectory is off just by a little bit, right? Uh, and Chan's like, he wasn't expecting it, so he's kind of, like, flailing around, and, uh, he, you see him, like, grab onto something, and it's the, um, it's the, the wire that he had attached to the upper level at the very beginning. Uh, because you can see, like, the glow bug, like, up atop, it, like, detaches and is now, like, floating in space because he's, like, disconnected the wire from hitting it with so much force. And he's grabbed onto it, and he's, like, pulling himself... Um, and he like looks up to like looks up at you and like waves for you to come like jump to him so he can grab you. Yeah, I kind of like put my leg up against the wall behind me and just try to push off with as much strength as I can, which isn't much, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it, you're like careening down and we see the ships beginning to like power up and like kind of wobble side to side a little bit um and I think we see Oha, it, like, as you fly by, you see Oha in the cockpit, and she's, like, holding on to, like, the, the steering wheel, like, trying to, like, physically hold the ship in place. Um, and, uh, you, you reach, and you grab, and Shannon, you, you connect arms, and he kind of, like, grabs you and loops you down to the side, and he, uh, he, like grabs you and he's he's like walking like power walking to the airlock um and the ship begins to like shudder a little bit and then begins to slowly move forward through space and it kind of banks around and now again you're not affected by gravity right but the inertia kind of like makes you guys lean out to the side and you gotta like recorrect with the ship and you know the ship banks and it starts going very slowly uh down towards like the planet um and chan like throws you in the airlock and like comes down like comes down himself and like pulls the door closed and you're like pulling the door closed with him and you seal it off and you hear the psh, and you see the like the the oxygen levels begin to rise um and uh i think that the last thing we see is um we see chan he like reaches under his arm where he made contact with the wire um and we can see that like there's a hole in his suit uh, and we can see the self-repairing, like, it's, it, like, kind of, like, lacerated that area. We can see the self-repairing function, like, is working, and there's, like, that little bit of shield, so, like, he's still able to breathe and stuff, um, but there was, like, significant damage, um, and I think he just, like, he's just got, like, a confused look on his face as he's, like, holding his arm up, and you can see this, like, gash, kind of, in the suit, where he made contact with the wire, um, and he just kind of like he kind of like turns and looks at you and just like shrugs and uh i think that's the last thing we see at the end of the session
Oh god. <laughs> we all gonna die. Str stressful. <laughs> so did anyone complete any goals? Sure I did not. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I technically think... the ship's still flying, so which I'm, is I'm, not by me. <laughs> I'm positive I'm leveling up this session. Oh. Yes. Oh yeah. Ten experience oh, oh, for yeah. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. But no, really. Did anybody complete any goals? Anybody at all? No. No. Okay. Uh, should I take away some experience, Megan, for that last one, or? I don't really think that's very nice. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh, was was the goal get everyone in and out safely with no damage to the ship? Nope. Nope. No, it's my goal that never leaves my goal sheet. Because... <laughs> Sweet, sweet baby must be protected and kept safe at all times. <laughs> and you just caused damage to him. <laughs> Listen, oh. he could have been stranded on a ship. At least he's on our ship now. <laughs> uh, so everybody gets a thousand experience. Fuck yeah, leveled up. Is that level six for you? It sure is. Nice. Hey, somebody join the club. Welcome to the club, right? <laughs> It's funny because uh, you're you're way further in experience than uh, Will is, but Will's an expert, so he got it sooner. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Uh, also, next level, excitingly, Devin, is your next tier as well. I know. Exciting. I know. Roll health. Uh, yeah, we can roll health right now if we want. Sure. Okay. Go for it. And that's uh, uh, 68, right? 68, yep. You got a con bonus? A plus, yeah, plus your con bonus. Which is, I think, zero. Is it zero? Yeah, I, I didn't anticipate myself getting hit much. <laughs> 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 and to the date, I still haven't. Just want to put that out there. Uh, you just got hit the by a rock. Yeah, earlier. the rock would argue with you. That's a good roll, 34. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, my health bonus just went up by nine. Yeah, that is nice. considerably above average. Nice. All those seven. That's good timing. <laughs> it yeah, sure isn't, right? that, isn't that fortunate? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's funny, and I like it. Hey, hey, like Megan. How? He said the name of the thing. With the thing. He said the name of the game. He said the name of the character. <laughs> Sorry. That's what we like to do in co-op games whenever they say the name of the game. Hey, hey, hey. He said the name of the game. So. Well, this was fun, guys. It was fun to play yeah. again, for sure. It sure was. And we're playing this Sunday, right? Yeah. Absolutely. I'm I'm available yeah. as long as... I, I think Maria turned away, right? Maria's not coming here? Correct. Yeah, Maria's going east. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, everything should be good for well, Sunday, so... Too bad for Puerto Rico, but hooray for Florida. <laughs> I was just gonna say, sucks to be the islands, but, uh, yeah. good for you guys. This is Apparently, what I'll... Apparently, the, the entire island of Puerto Rico is without power. Believe it. No, it's not like just one of, of it. many islands oh. that are, like, literally non-existent. Dude, in the I, like, there are still people in Houston that are, like, cooking dinner over campfires. Ooh. I can't yeah. even... Yeah, like... <laughs> Yeah. Well, there's there's not a single living soul on Barbuda right now. They literally took everybody off that island. And it's Jeez. the first time since, like, the 1850s that no one's lived there. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, our kids yeah. suck. They sure anyway, do. we're playing Sunday. We're playing Sunday, yeah, though. Yeah, right. Regu Marvel, regular sorry. time as well. Despite, regular regular despite, time as well. Uh, everything burning down around us. <laughs> Uh, not gonna do us some RPGs. Not yet. Everything, everything will perhaps soon be burning down around you, Matt. You'll have to find out. <laughs> this is as uh, nice a place as any to bury Fortune and Fisher. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like it's it's well kept. The lawn is nice. <laughs> there, there's robot butlers. 
there are robot butlers to like robot uh, death butlers that will be the gravestones. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I just right. picture like I'm just the saying room, the Roombas that just like will come and vacuum <laughs> up your body when you're dead very slowly <laughs> and just a little at a time. Let's see if turned to dust <laughs> entirely. <laughs> Seems correct. Uh so great. Great. Uh next time. We'll see, we'll see you guys later. I'm going to do uh, I, outro. I I have to say, I'm surprised not a single attack roll was made other than a rock being thrown at Fortune. <laughs> that is true. And the Sam site in the beginning of the episode. Uh, that's true, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, also, um, everyone needs to go watch Sneaky Beat on Amazon Video. I will consider it. Okay. I, I watched the whole season in two days. Great. I'm gonna meet you guys. I will uh, see y'all later. Okay, bye. Stay stream. All right. Glad you all could be here. It's been a hell of a lot of fun. Hope you also all had a lot of fun. Uh, kind of eventful, kind of not. We'll see what happens in the future uh, of Olympus. But thank you for watching episode two of season two. Maybe episode three. Season three. Or Jesus. Episode three of season two. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. I will catch you all later. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.